Okay, let's check out what is going on at KCOB now. Here we are. The Cos IO Corporation Office Building. It looks like most of the businesses on this block are a part of the same corporate coalition under Cos IO. Well, perhaps. At the very least, it means it's unlikely they're the ones interfering with Augmented Eye's articles. Not impossible, but unlikely. Generally, the companies in a coalition don't have a whole lot of overlap. Augmented Eye is a news app focused on local tech and culture stories, with an emphasis on hybrids, rights, and cybernetics issues. None of the other companies in the coalition cover news, so they aren't related at all, which is very much standard practice for these groups. They have nothing to gain by inviting companies with whom they compete, and thus none of them would benefit by trying to undermine Augmented Eye's credibility as a news source. Yes, another news organization would be the most likely culprit here. The MeshNet says Augmented Eye's SF office is run by an individual named Zin, and Tomcat confirmed she's expecting us. Let's make sure to keep your other news outlet theory in mind, and we can follow up on it afterwards. All we have to do now is head up and talk to her. No shenanigans this time. Oh, hello. Welcome to Augmented Eye. You must be the journalist my network admin said would be showing up. Have a seat. Would you like a drink? Right to business, then. I can respect that. Look, I'll start off by saying I'm a little uncomfortable about bringing in another journalist to look into this. Whatever you dig up, I'll have to explain to the rest of the press. But it's still better than the other options. Chances are, I have another corporation scoping out my territory. If they aren't in the Coalition, they'll be expecting a corporate spy, not a news hound. If they are in the Coalition, it won't look good for me to send in my own reporters against my allies. Even if I do end up being right. So if I'm damned either way, I'd rather it be by the media. At least then we can fight back on a familiar battlefield. Now, what do you know about our problem here? That's the long and short of it. My network admin is pulling their hair out over it. I'm not going to pretend I understand everything they say, but from what I understand, the changes to our articles aren't being made from inside our network. The versions on our servers are still the originals, but at some point after they hit the mesh, they get changed. I'm hoping that you can do some digging, maybe hit up your contacts and get a lead on who might be doing it. Even if I have to get answers from the nightly news, it will be a big help. Not really. My admin says that only someone with intimate access to Parallax's network protocols could make these kind of changes as something passes across the net. Personally, I think it's a clever hacker rather than someone inside Parallax itself. The public trust rating of Parallax makes them look like a saint among wolves, so their control over the mesh network provisions is strangling. It's trivially easy to set up ROMs to use a different OS than LIPS or a different MeshNet protocol without that trust. Or, you know, Parallax is abusing its power to spread pro-tech propaganda. Doubtful they need to. I'm sure you'll be a good journo and bring me back the right answer. I guess I'm not. But my network admin assures me it's all coming from somewhere else. 
They told me that they tore out all of the routers that broadcast to the mesh and replaced them with fresh ones. All kinds of tricks involving IP addresses and DNS changes that I'm not going to even begin to claim to understand. I pay them big bucks, so I'm inclined to believe them unless you dig up something that tells me otherwise. Mostly little things. Word choice, tone of the writing, things that make the writer appear more or less extreme on a topic. So far, almost all of the edits seem to be making our articles more positive on new technologies coming out, and more critical of organizations like the Human Revolution. That's actually what tipped us off. A harsh criticism one of my writers made about the Human Revolution protests was changed to be downright vitriolic, and I had a hell of a time putting out the fires. My writers and readers aren't exactly fans of them, but I'd rather not pick fights with the Human Revolution if I don't have to. I know Tin Hat conspiracies aren't an ideal start, but it's the best we can do with the info we have. Anything else I can tell you, off the record? If you want it on the record, it'll cost you your firstborn and a really good cigar. I wasn't going to tell you this. If it gets out, I'd have to answer some really hard questions. So, if you didn't hear this from me, you might want to go check out TMI Entertainment and Charlie Nova. That's all I'll say. And remember, you take a bite out of him with my name as your defense, I drop you fast. Like what? There isn't much more I can tell you about Augmented Eye, really. It's a fairly simple and straightforward operation, if I say so myself. We started off in Venezuela as a sleek current events and news organization in 2055. Almost ten years ago now. We focus on more in-depth reporting of on-the-street happenings, on top of major news. We are one of the few good ones left. Once folks in other cities saw the type of reporting we do, they all clamored for it. They invested in the right places, and it paid off. Cos IO Corp is happy to have us here in the OSF. It wasn't until hybrid tech started hitting the public sphere that we had to make any changes to our model. All of that said, I can't see why anyone would target us. Unless they're just trying to embroil us in a mudslinging match with the human revolution, and there are much more direct ways of making that happen. Hmm? What? Not wanting to answer prying questions from my coalition board isn't a good enough reason? Cause I'd really like to avoid that. And look, you've covered culture wars, right? My journalists are good, but they're mostly good at gadget reviews, implant releases, not taking too many stims so they remember what they did at raves for the after-party reports. This needs an investigative journalist with serious contacts, not tech personalities. The fact that my network admin recommended you to me means you probably know the right people. Now, does that cover it? I'd like to remove my nose from your ass. No, don't bother. In hindsight, I probably should have been a bit more circumspect about speaking to you. Plausible deniability and all that. I won't ask you to lie in anything you write, but do remember you got in contact with me not even secondhand, but thirdhand. I certainly didn't sick you on anyone. Wink wink, nudge nudge, or whatever. If you need anything else, have your person get with my person. Don't come here directly. Now, I'd show you the door, but you know the way. And this isn't the only fire I'm trying to put out. Good luck, and goodbye. Well, that was more confrontational than I'd have expected, considering she was the one needing help. 
Is it always like this? Very true. I will admit that I am interested in the possibility of a link back to Parallax. If all of this really is due to somebody manipulating the mesh net on the inside, it may give us the leverage we need to find out what happened to Hayden once and for all. That said, I will take care not to get my hopes up. We should make no assumptions when investigating, lest we lead ourselves down a false path. Anyway, seems like our next step is... What the... Defenestrated. Emergency services are already on the way, and we are severely ill-equipped to help her. We should head back to her office and see if we can determine what happened here. Perhaps we can still dispense justice. Hmm, it looks like the desk has been cleared off. Let's take a look around, but be careful not to disturb any evidence. The police will be here soon. My thermal sensors only detect a single set of lingering footprints, and they end almost three feet away from the window. Considering the density of this glass, I can't imagine Zin jumped from that far and managed to throw herself through the pane without help. But who could have done it? I don't see any obvious marks on the floor or any other thermal hotspots. It doesn't look like it. Her personal computer is not password protected at the moment. Give me a moment to look through her files. Best to keep your fingerprints off of the keyboard. Mm, most of this isn't very interesting. Committee reports, financials, article submissions. Oh, here we go. According to this email between Zin and her network admin, her lead on TMI Entertainment is a little more solid than she led us to believe. The admin ran a web crawler looking for changes in writing styles. Some blog posts by their head anchor Charlie Nova stood out like a sore thumb. Apparently he's a bit pompous, if in an affable way, and his blog usually just details his day-to-day -day life. But ever since the human revolution has been in town, he's been smearing them with more venom than you'd expect, considering how neutral his on-air reporting has been. Zin seemed to think he was just complaining about the protesters fouling up traffic, and whoever is manipulating these posts spun it to make him look critical of the movement as a whole. Just like the augmented eye journalist. This Charlie fellow is the one we need to talk to. We should go. There isn't anything else here, and the police are almost on the scene. Son of a... I should have figured the two of you would be here. You just won't stay out of trouble no matter what I say, will you? I assure you, Detective Rivers, we are merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. We had an appointment with Zin to discuss a possible lead and found her office in this state of disrepair. Of course you did. Damn it. Fine, fine. Get the hell out of here before anyone else shows up. 
We'll chat about the case more when I'm not busy scraping bodies off the pavement. You hear me? Certainly, Detective Rivers. I'll forward you a report of what we know immediately, and we can speak further at a later time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get moving. Ooh. Because it's better this way. We are chasing smoke trails. You think she would assist such an unlikely investigation? I do not need you to infer upon my motivations or highlight my duplicity. Detective Rivers has every bit of information that Zinn gave us on that computer. Her investigation will not be hampered by our absence, whereas ours is halted if we're stuck giving answers she can just as well get from a hard drive. Literally. Has it occurred to you that whoever threw Zinn out of that window could be after the same thing we are, except to silence the story rather than to get it out? We have little time for fooling about and must get to Charlie Nova before something happens to him too. Now, unless you have further recriminations to level at me, you must not squander the time my dishonesty bought us. I have highlighted the main Neo-SF offices for TMI Entertainment on your map. Let's go! Hmm, I hope some pity for me still remains, considering my recent tone, because I'm honestly not sure where we should start. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to somebody who can answer our questions. Welcome to TMI Entertainment Incorporated. Do you have an appointment? an appointment. I can maybe pencil you in for next Wednesday? We don't have time for this! People's lives are on the line here, and all you care about is an appointment? Oh, um, look, if it's that important, I can buzz you through to sympathy. But she isn't going to be very happy about being bothered off schedule, so don't get your hopes up. And uh, try not to make her too mad. I'll be the one dealing with the fallout. Right, of course. I apologize. We will be as tactful as possible, I assure you. Okay, she's over on the other side of the room. Head straight there, because she doesn't like it when people bother the talent. Hey, you, over here, now. What are you doing bothering my people? I thought I told Nina to cancel all my appointments for the day. I swear, that girl couldn't find her ears if I taped them over her eyes. At least she makes a decent cup of coffee. Yes, I am. And if you don't mind, I keep the show running here, so I'll be brief. What are you doing in my building? We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your personalities, Charlie Nova. Someone has been manipulating his articles on the MeshNet and turning them into scathing attacks against the human revolution. We are trying to track the culprit and we need to talk to Mr. Nova to hunt down further leads. You let your ROM do all the talking for you? must be one of those new interrogation modules all the fresh meat rave about. 
Of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. I'm tracking them down myself. What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop out from underneath me. Super hacker twists MeshNet news for personal political vendetta? The clicks basically farm themselves. Zin? Augmented eyes, Zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Then, someone threw her out of her office window. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get to him first. Holy shit. Fine, I'll let you talk to Charlie. If someone is trying to kill people over this, I'd rather it be out and done with as fast as possible. I mean, shit, we're an entertainment scene. Nobody should die for that. But hey, watch yourself with Charlie. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. Keep it civil, or I'll throw your ass out and figure this out on my own. Now get on it. I need to make some calls. Fantastic! How fantastic! I just love your ROM. Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Very sleek, very clean, bravo. Oh, uh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to brass tacks then, I suppose. Wait! I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars and Star in the Stratosphere. But you already knew that, I'm sure. What can I do for you, hmm? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. I can't imagine you've come all this way just to get my story, have you? After all, I've already published my very own splendid 100% original autobiography, Like a Nova. But I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stink eye. I grew up here on the mean streets of Neo-SF, but my jocular nature and striking countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. And the rest is not so ancient history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happier. It's all thanks to my swarms of fans, though. They're the ones who count. Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, it's the best damn network on the planet, I can tell you that. We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about sympathy. It's her pride and joy, after all. Sure, she can be a little acerbic, and sure, she calls me a poofy-haired oaf all the time, but you can really tell she cares, you know? Deep down. Hmm, I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move to another topic or a threat against my physical well-being. So, let's move on. What next? Oh, it may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but Sympathy assured me that it was some kind of technical glitch, and our support people were on top of it. They're top-notch, the absolute best money can buy. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. Ha <laughs> ha. 
it's Charlie. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. Really, I just don't have the information you're looking for. <laughs> it's Charlie. And of course, I'm the leading man around here. Who has said otherwise? I'm not quite certain what you think it is that I don't know, but I assure you that I know what it is. You won't be able to trip me up that easily. It's Charlie. And Sympathy never mentioned that. But still, she said the tech guys are on top of it, and I'm gonna have to go with her on this. I'm not scared of some boogeyman. This isn't the first time I've dealt with something like this. Security has to throw out obsessed fans all the time. I'm made of sterner stuff than you think. It's Charlie, damn it! And wait, what? What on earth? I. Okay. I'll tell you what I know. I didn't realize how serious this had gotten, but I'm always glad to play the hero. Unfortunately, I really only have conjecture to offer you. Trust me, I'd love to lay down some earth-shattering pronouncement and dazzle you with my investigative skills. But all I've got is flimsy threads at best. The thing is, all this stuff with my stories... Stuff getting changed, making me look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever... It started after I had an upgrade made to my VR uplink hardware. The technically legal kind. Look, I like to have a good time at a party, right? But sympathy keeps hammering on me for pounding back too much crash and whatnot. Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like shit on camera the next day. So I went to this guy I know, good guy, everyone uses him. He's called Nanya. He does great work. After just one simple back alley brain surgery, bing bang boom. I can use an app to make my VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that the stims do without all the nasty physical side effects. It could be a coincidence, though. The tech guys didn't find anything wrong with my uplink, and they say the modifications check out. But that Nanya guy does a lot of work for media people around here, so if a bunch of posts are getting changed, maybe that's your weak link. Anyway, that's it. Pretty flimsy, but I'll send you the address and you can go talk to him. If he'll even see you, that is. Oh, it was no problem. No problem at all. I'm quite happy to assist in any way I can. Just make sure you source me in your article, right? Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. Give it the old Charlie Nova bump. 
Anyhow, I really have to get back to work. You wouldn't believe how long it takes to put all this together before a show. Let me know how it goes with the murderous hacker thing. My ROM will call your ROM. This looks like the spot. I'm awfully nervous and still a bit shaken up. Let's hurry and get out of here. Wait, those are... Uh, sure, why not? Hold up there, Speedy. I've never seen the two of you around here before, and I know everybody. Why don't you let me know what's going on here first before you start barging through people's doors, feel me? <clears throat> Hello? We're just here to speak to Nanya about something. Ah, ah, ah! Just got into town and you're already asking favors from folks, huh? Tisk, 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 my little blue friend. What? No, it's not like that. Listen, we don't want any trouble, but we're kind of in a hurry. Trouble? There's no trouble here. We can be friends. <laughs> I like this one. You're a little more street smart than your blue bot buddy here, I see. No, I like you two. You're cool in my book. And, since we're all such good friends now, maybe you'll be willing to give back to the community and do a favor for your new pal Formula first. You see, I'm a budding street musician. Working on my next big hit, feel me? But I'm sorta of stuck on a few lines. I just gotta get these last few rhymes right. Maybe you could share a little of your creativity with me and see what we come up with. Ah, and it'll be fun. You don't have time to not help me. Huh? What do you think would take longer? Helping an up-and-coming Cena songwriter finish a guaranteed worldwide hit? Or you could ignore me and maybe I'll send over an anonymous tip to the Neo SFPD. You see, I know for a fact that everything inside this shop here is 100% legal. But I bet whatever you got in your mind sure ain't. Even if they didn't find anything, it'd take the rest of the day to iron out. People like you don't come down here for anything boring. We clean up good. How well do you cover your tracks when you're in such a hurry, I wonder? This isn't good. If Lexi in particular gets suspicious and starts tracking us down, things will become rougher for us. Not to mention all the other people it could indirectly affect. This whole case is life or death. Huh, kind of a dramatic rhyme, man. But I made my point clear. If you don't help me out, I'll make sure you never get in to see Nanya at all. He's my buddy. Do me a favor or two so I return him when I'm asked. That's how we do things around here. I knew you'd see it my way. All you gotta do is help me complete my rhymes, you dig? A 
couple of them are just missing a word or two. But if I really want to make this song fantastic, I'm going to need some killer inspiration. It's going to be super cred. Anyway, you ready for this? Going to give it a shot? That's what I like to hear. Here's the first line I'm having trouble with. You ready? It's my favorite season, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of, uh, hang on a second. It's my favorite season, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of my holiday cheer. Hey, yeah! That totally works! Great idea, thanks a ton! Here's the next line. Ready? Pay attention now. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. And if you want my number, I'll... I'll... Um... Hmm. You know, for this one, I don't think words are gonna be enough. I'm gonna need some inspiration to make it come together. If you've got anything to show me that you think will help me out, let me know. If you bring mistletoe, you knock me off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my business card. Hey, that totally works. Really, thanks so much. I'd never be able to write a song like this without you. A Christmas themed love song? Aren't those supposed to be pretty tacky? All right, now I need your help with just one more line. I promise it's the last one. This one's been driving me up a wall. I hope you can tackle it as well as you did the others. Ready? Here we go. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a nice pair of, um, damn it. This is getting embarrassing. There's no way to salvage this one without some seriously fresh inspiration, yo. Don't lose hope. I'm sure it'll hit us any second now. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of gummy Christmas scones. Uh, he does know those are donuts, right? Now that's what I call a tasty beat! That was amazing! I can't believe you pulled it off! Whatever you do for work now, it doesn't matter! You should become a musician! We totally become rivals and I bet you that... On second thought, you keep your day job. This is my territory. You feel me? But you did help out in a huge way. So I guess you're cool. Go on in and see Nanya whenever you want. I'll just be chilling out here, soaking up the inspiration of my surroundings, baby. Here, you can keep the do- uh, Scones. <laughs> It was nice meeting you, Four Moolah. Hey, you too, little Bob Blue. Hey, that kind of rhyme. Let's go. Nope. Nope, 
I don't know you. You got someone willing to vouch for you? If not, get out of my shop. Charlie? Yeah, I remember him. That TV guy runs his mouth a lot. Yeah. Paid good enough. All right then, what can I do for you? You are Nanya, correct? Sure, if that's what you want to call me. If your credit's clear, you can call me whatever you want. Enough foreplay. What can I do for you? A fresh install, custom firmware, maybe an upgrade? I can pretty much do it all. But most people come in here for VR implants. Turns out brain surgery is expensive, yeah? We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Charlie Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. It didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. What are you, cops? No, worse. You're journalists. Get the hell out of my shop! I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to do with me. You found the door before? Find it again. And tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround. He ain't welcome around here anymore. Uh, give us a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meat bags. We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this Nanya. But I think it's time to take matters into our own hands. I have an idea. Keep him occupied for a few minutes. Just do what you normally do and ask questions. Nothing about the blog post, though. We don't want to set him off. Just keep him talking. It'll only take a minute. Are you gonna get going, or am I gonna have to call someone to make you get going? If anyone was going to hack Charlie's implant, you would have the best access. Are you kidding me? You think you get to walk into my place of business and accuse me of installing malware onto a customer's implant? Fine. Bring it on. My reputation is ironclad, and there just ain't no way Charlie's implant was ever touched. Messing with the firmware would make it light up like Christmas morning with user warnings. So unless he's been letting someone else dig around in his head, You'll be the one left looking like an asshole. VR interfaces require a hardline connection to receive I.O. So unless Charlie's been using a headset to route his ROM's HUD through it, there ain't no way to get into it. And if Charlie's installation got infected, I don't see what the hell that has to do with me. Tell him to buy some antivirus software and keep off the sketchy porn sites. The end. Not that you would care, but my creator Hayden died over this. You think we care about your reputation? You're out of your damn mind, robot. I've done nothing wrong. Are we done? It is. Now you're ragging on my profession? I help people, and that's all you need to know. I'm not doing anything illegal, unless you're some kind of corporate apologist and think factory warranties are sacrosanct. 
Just because I want to be discriminating with my clientele doesn't mean I'm a crook. Tell you what, how about you get the hell out of my shop and don't come back without a cop and a warrant since you're so concerned about the public welfare. Yeah, whatever. You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. We need to be able to maintain optical contact with the mesh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock or off-the-shelf after the changes Hayden made. That means when the humidity is low, the air fairly sings for me, amongst other things. Meaning, in layman's terms, I could read his monitor over his shoulder while being across the room. Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off of the spreadsheet. One in particular stands out, Shotaro Otsuka. As if everything else in this wild goose chase hasn't been. Mr. Otsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic, he catches my attention, though, because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. His fans are accusing him of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Now it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely, I've marked the location of Shotaro Otsuka's apartment on your map. After you. This is the building. Mr. Otsuka must do well for himself, considering the neighborhood. Not the priciest section of Neo SF, but nice enough for a self-employed tech blogger. Perhaps we should just ring the bell? We both know it won't be that easy, but it's important to maintain some courtesies. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shataro Otsuka's Ron. Shotaro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Hmm, that's encouraging. That was odd. Maybe try the bell again. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shotaro Otsuka's ROM. Shotaro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. What is taking so long? All right, third time's the charm, right? Once more, with feeling. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shotaro Otsuka's ROM. Shotaro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Ah! Why can't this ever be easy? 
I swear I'll blow out a fuse before we're done. Thank Hayden for system redundancies. Well, that's that. Let's see if we can find a way into Mr. Otska's apartment ourselves. Mr. Otska's apartment is on the second floor. The fire escape should give us access to his window. We just need something to let us reach it. I'm sure there's some piece of detritus or loose end laying around we could use. Oh, that's how these things always work. Hey, didn't I see you earlier at TMI? Nice to meet you. I'm Sky. You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? Your ROM looks fancy enough to keep track of that. About that. You want my umbrella? Not for the weather. We need to use the hook handle to reach the fire escape ladder so we can pull it down. Oh, you live here and lost your keycard, huh? I totally understand. I do that all the time. But look, as much as I'd love to give you this umbrella, I'm kind of using it right now. Where I come from, see, we're all about equal trades. It's part of our culture. Gym culture? Sorry, but unless you've got anything interesting to exchange for it, I'm gonna hold on to this. Don't want to get wet. Hey, is this real? The real Yannick Fairlight? You know him? Of course I do! He's one of the most innovative tech minds of the last few generations! Can I please have this? I'll give you the umbrella, yours to keep if you want. I think it's a fair trade. Thanks! Here you go! This is so exciting! I'm gonna go call him right now! Call him? Hmm, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Oh well, now we have our tool and a pretty spiffy one at that. Let's go! Excellent work! This window is unlocked. Let's go in. I'm not sure. My olfactory sensors detect chemicals associated with decaying food and something else I can't pin down. It's unfamiliar to me. That's better. Let's take a look around. Shotaro must be plugged into the mesh. He hasn't even noticed us. I feel like I could scream without him knowing. Ah! Hi! Mr. Otska! Nothing. Hello, guest. Chitaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. We just checked, and he seems busy. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? Very well. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to assist.
He won't be able to hear us while he's plugged in. artery. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I can't help but wonder if this was done by the same person who assaulted Zin. His Rom doesn't even think anything is wrong. We need to hurry. If I'm right, everyone we've talked to so far is in more danger than we thought. Someone is following us. I have to find his computer, so I can see if I can pull anything relevant off of it. You interrogate his ROM. Maybe you can find out why it's acting so strange. Chitaro has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. That's okay. We'll wait. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? Shotaro has been under the weather for some time, but I could not tell you precisely when. He rarely has visitors or goes on outings, so this is only slightly abnormal behavior for him. In fact, you are the first visitor he has had in a while. Several days, in fact. Perhaps you could ask him about it yourself. I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. He is. Shataro is a diligent man even in the face of such adversity. If you are a reader of his work, his next significant piece will be going online tomorrow. I will not spoil it for you. I run regular self-checks and have noticed no irregularities in either my hardware or software. I appreciate your concern. If you think I am behaving erratically, Perhaps you could mention it to Shataro. He is skilled at maintenance. It shut itself down again. Let's see if we can pull some useful information off of Mr. Otsuka's computer. If we can find it. What the hell are you doing back here? Wait, wait, let me guess. You stole some of my files, or hacked my brain, or used telepathy or some shit, found out someone else got hit by your little ghost in the machine, and when you got there, found out he was deader than New Disco. That close enough? Um, that is distressingly accurate. Well, it wasn't much of a damned guess. Charlie Nova is dead. What? Charlie is... The autocab he was in drove him right off the bridge and into the bay. It's been all over the news for the last ten minutes, and I'm not looking to be next. 
I'm getting the hell out of Neo-SF. And I'm gonna forget that I ever saw you, ever knew Charlie, ever gave a shit about any of this. Hell, maybe I'll pick up a new career. I'm less likely to get murdered for being a fry cook. That's for damn sure. Have a good life! Oh no! No, 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 no! Why is this happening? There was no one in that car! No heat signatures, no wireless emissions, nothing! That wasn't even an auto cab! It's a manual! I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! And that's it! This is too much! I've had enough! I don't care who's controlling the news anymore! Almost everyone we've talked to so far has died, and I can't live with any more blood on my hands! We're not investigating this lead any further! As of right now! <sighs> Logically, I know that. We haven't set out to harm anyone. But someone is using us as a stalking horse, hiding behind our investigation to clean up whatever this is. If they want to keep taking out people involved in this, they're going to have to dig them up without our help. We don't have any other leads anyway. Thank you for sticking with me, though. Perhaps Tomcat is finished going through all of the data we found. Let's head back to the apartment for now. Ah, home sweet home again. Such that it is. And before you say anything, I don't feel the need to talk over the events of the day. Too much has happened. I've already forwarded everything we've rooted out to Tomcat both Hayden's research and our aborted search into the modified mesh articles. They said they would be over in the morning to discuss our next steps. I'd suggest that we both get some rest. Perhaps things will look better in the morning, but I have a feeling we're going to be even busier than ever. Good night. <laughs>